going to make pizza today. Yes, I'm wearing the same shirt. See if I can make all we can with one shirt. I uh, forgot my flat cast iron pan, so we're going to make, attempt to make. Pizza in a pan. So I guess it would be called pan pizza. Now, I've never been a professional pizza maker. Good girl. Good girl, Penis. Penis just went back in the air conditioning. Come on, stir it up. And we're just going to stretch this dough out. Now, this dough came from uh, Publix. I used to make my own dough, and that was a lot of fun. But it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. Worth every second. But sometimes you just don't have that. And you just want to make your own. I mean, just make a pizza. You can buy the dough already made. I had brought some shrimp. So I'm going to make an omelet. But I forgot the eggs. Oh, I didn't forget. So I'm going to put shrimp on this pizza. Now this is just sun-dried uh, tomato, sun-dried tomato pesto. I didn't bring the pizza sauce. Should probably put this on before the shrimp. Some pepperoni right now. Canned mushrooms. I found if I wrap my leftover onion in a um, paper towel and put it in a baggie, it stays. It keeps. So the paper towel does something for uh, keeping it off the plastic, trapping the oxygen, if you will. I don't know. All right, what I have here is uh, Gouda cheese. Smoked Gouda cheese. It's uh, like a little hockey puck. It comes wrapped in this wax. Now, I don't like uh, shred my fingernails on here. So, I'm just going to eat that last one. We've turned up the temperature, it's almost all the way up. And check the pellets real quick. Yeah, it's speeding. When you crank it all the way, it's obviously going to use more fuel. See our pan pizza? How that, how all that looks? All right. We're going to make uh, tequila and ginger beer. So 16 ounce glass of ice, two ounces of tequila, and this happens to be 6.8 ounce of ginger beer, and works out perfectly. That's good. Of course that's good, right? Ginger beer and tequila. Let's check on our pizza. Ooh, still looks pretty raw, but it's cooking. All right, we're going to check on the pizza here. Ooh, did I put too much marinara on here? And it's sticking. Great thing with these pans is there's no plastic. You can bake in there, put the handle on it, and I've got it. All right, so I have my doubts if this is going to work or not. We're going to let it cool off some. We'll come back and get it. I don't think it's going to work. It's definitely stuck to the bottom.
Okay, this is my uh, first canned pizza. Obviously, I made some mistakes, but we're going to still try to eat it. I'm hungry, and I mean, let's try it out. Let's finish the process. All right, see, the bottom's not really burned, even though it's stuck. It's kind of burned a little bit around the edges, but there's enough oil going underneath there. So it's probably giving me a fried crust. But there's some, uh, let's try it out. All right, after this for improvement. Mm. Way too salty. I think I'll eat just enough and then fix the rest. I got a backup dinner plan, so again, I've had worse.